Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lux channel. For those of you just chiming in, my name is Kristen. I am a factory representative for Lux Fifth Wheels. I am in our 48FB. I wanted to start off by taking a look at our L-shaped sofa. I wanted to demonstrate how this actually works and then how you put it up for when you are going to leave for your next vacation spot. So a lot of people don't know that this is actually a jackknife style sofa here. So you can actually pull it down and you can make it more of like a lazy lounger. So in those nice cold, Wintery nights, you can cuddle up by the fireplace here with a nice blanket, and then it easily just stores like that. There is storage below as well. And then over here, this part actually does need to slide in for when you are traveling. So I just wanted to show you that. This base part here is gonna be on a bracket, so you're just gonna pick it up, take it off of that bar there. You are going to slide it down. And then there is a lever right here. So you're gonna pull up on that lever and then you are going to push in. Very easy, just like that. So that is the L-shaped sofa. And then of course, if you have the flip up counter option, you need to put that down. That way your slides come in. So turning around here, we have the fireplace. It's a 5,000 BTUs. We have uh, 4K, LG smart TV, sound bar, and there's a subwoofer behind the TV. Plenty of storage around the TV. Nice space above. And as you can see in this toy hauler, we do have the wall board, which is standard on the toy hauler. Uh, a lot of people like to option the soft touch walls in the living area. Absolutely love the molding around our doors. All solid hardwood. Coming upstairs here, we have the main bathroom here. You're gonna have a residential shower in this model. They have went with the gray cabinetry for the half um, for the full bath, I'm sorry. Nice large medicine cabinet. And then coming around here to the bedroom. We don't see this one a lot just because a lot of people like end up doing the vanity slide here. So this is the standard setup for the bedroom of the toy hauler. You're gonna have the king bed, which is standard. You're gonna have storage underneath. Let me just show you that. Storage underneath the bed here. Heavy duty struts, so you really gotta push down on that. You got a little center um, nook there, so if you wanna put any knickknacks there or close it off with cabinet doors for additional storage. A lot of people ask me about CPAPs. Where am I gonna put my CPAP? We do have a CPAP package. Talk to your rep about this. It's gonna make these overheads just a little bit deeper. It's gonna have a pull-out tray then. You're gonna have an outlet in both sides, and then you're gonna have a grommet hole where your hose can go down. So it's gonna be nice and sealed, so if you, you know, it's not gonna be all exposed or anything like that to the dust. So nice CPAP package that we have. You can do solid surface on your nightstands and nightstand doors if you would like. When you do the queen size bed, it really does give you a lot more space around here. So I just want you aware of that too. Large closet here. Some pretty deep drawers. All dovetail, soft clothes. Hinges on the sides, um, on sides, under the bottom there, so that it's for added structure. It doesn't take away any of that side storage. Washer and dryer, you can do it here if you would like, or in the garage. And then you're gonna have the pull-out TV here. It's a 32 inch TV, so it just pulls out, and you can store it when you're not using it. All the outlets are gonna be tucked up underneath. They're gonna be like that in the kitchen as well. And then drawers here. And again, you can do the vanity slide here with the walk-in style closet if you wish. Coming back down here, the booth here is the standard setup in the toy hauler. You could seat for maybe an adult and a child, but comfortably it's gonna be about two here. This is the Furion camera monitor that is gonna come with the four camera system if, system if you option to do that. We will take a look at that when we go out to the exterior. This villa booth here has storage underneath. And they've upgraded to this option, the villa booth, with the ultra leather fabric here. We have an LG fridge, nice and large. We can do ice and water in the door if you would like as well. 
Looking at the kitchen area, this is a pretty standard setup here. So when you're thinking of what's standard in the toy hauler, this is gonna be it with the cabinets here and the overlook. You can always delete that overlook if you'd like and add more cabinets if you'd like, or you can add a full pantry here. Just talk to your rep about those different options. They've did the single composite sink. Standard will be a double bowl stainless sink. Down here is normally where the dishwasher would go if you option for that. Um, you could do just the cabinet or you could do a drawer if you would like for those larger items. I wanna point out over here, the water cutoff. You will have water cutoffs at every water source inside your coach so you don't have to go through that pass-through storage. 30 inch oven here, I mean, sorry, 30 inch microwave. It is a convection oven though with a 24 inch is what they did in this model. Silverware drawer tray is gonna be standard in our toy haulers. And just to kind of show you the, the flip up countertop here, there is an outlet underneath, which a lot of people don't know about. Nice place, so if you have a trash can, you can stow it under there. But it's just gonna be two clips and easily goes down there for you. Coming into the garage here, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the loft. Like I told you, we could delete that overlook if you'd like and add cabinets. We're gonna come in here. They did this side patio. So that, keep in mind, if you do the side patio, it's gonna take up about 10 inches of the width of your garage. Coming into the garage here, I'll have Aaron turn around here. We're gonna take a look at the loft here. So the loft here, we can do many different things with this. So right now it's 55 inches for sleeping area. There's gonna be a window up there. There's gonna be a fantastic fan and a mattress. So it's basically for sleeping quarters. If you wanna make it a storage loft, we can do that. We can also shrink it down to a storage loft size about 33 inches or so. That way it's a little bit easier to grab those totes. We can do multiple entrances that way too. Maybe if you want an entrance here and an entrance here so you can grab those totes, you can do so. So many different options that you can do there or you can delete it all together. You don't have to have that. So right here, they have added the half bath. We've turned it, rotated it so that we could have more length in our garage. When we do the turned bath, we do have to have a macerator toilet because it's no longer over that black tank directly. And again, you can see that they've done the gray in here. So you can really personalize it to fit your style and not just have one color throughout. All solid hardwood doors. We can make these solid panels if you would like. They have option to do the 11K AC in here. So it's just the drop in AC. We can do a 15K AC ducted if you'd like as well. Um, standard on the toy haulers is gonna be two ACs, 15 Ks with heat pumps. This is an entertainment center. This is gonna be standard in our coaches, uh, in the toy hauler in the garage. It's gonna be the CD player. It's the Jensen with the Alpine stereo system. And below here, we're gonna have the fuse box or the, it's a, uh, just like you would see at home. A lot of people like seeing this, it's very residential. They have the diamond matted flooring in the garage, which is also gonna be standard. They've optioned to add a TV in the garage. And then the Happy Jack bunk system is standard. You can always delete these things to those standard items. So this will actually come down. Those will fold at be a bed, or you can have it a sofa with a table in the middle and the bed will come down, down to about this height as well. Everything that you see with the shades here, these are blackout shades. This is gonna come standard. It's just gonna cover up those windows for you. So you have a little bit more privacy in here. So especially if you have those toys in here. We have a toolbox right here. This toolbox actually goes across all the way. So if you got those heavy duty tools, that, you know, that aren't very clean, go ahead and just put them down there. They have option to do the veranda doors on this model here. Keep in mind, again, this is gonna take about eight inches away from your length than if you were to do this. But they are just like French doors here. And I believe Aaron has a video on this, so if you wanna look for that video, it shows you a little bit more on how those work. We are standing on the rear patio here. They've optioned to have the rear patio package, got an awning, so if you don't do that side patio, you still have another spot where you can sit out here and lounge and relax and hook up that grill. I'm gonna take you to the exterior now, so I'll meet you outside. Coming around to the exterior now, you're gonna see the two color paint scheme. This is standard on our toy haulers here. You can pick any two automotive paint colors or you can upgrade to a different mask. They have chosen some very nice colors here. Um, it's gonna be all automotive paint, like I said. It's three coats of clear, wet sand, cotton buff, no decals whatsoever. Even our logos are painted. 
Coming around to the front here, you're gonna have the Gen Y hitch pin, which is standard on our 48 FB. So it's gonna give you a gross vehicle weight of 25,999. They have opted to do the generator in here. You can see that there, uh, it's gonna be an own-in generator. You will have also access in this um, generator bay here. You're gonna have your battery cutoffs, your hydraulic pump, which runs your equalizer leveling system and it's all gonna be color coded so it's easy to service and you can also manually override that if needed. So touching base again on the equalizer leveling, you're gonna have a six point leveling system, much beefier than what you're used to seeing. It, and again, everything is built for serviceability on our coaches. Even when we're in the, like I was just shooting the video on the inside here and I was walking around with Aaron, we only have two jacks down here. We didn't feel the movement of each other at all and that's just two jacks down. So that's one thing that I love about that equalizer. You're gonna have a 40 pound propane tank, one on either side here. Very large pass through storage here. I'll let Aaron go ahead and get a, a view of the inside of the storage compartment here. This is very, um, serviceability here is a big thing. You're gonna see the Arctic package because all those PEX lines are insulated, the individual heat runs. And then I also wanted to touch base right here. These are slide slickers. This will come with your coach at time of delivery so that you can put these down. Um, on your floors to protect your floor when you're bringing your slide room and just in case there's any rocks. You'll also get this tool right here. This is gonna be used for the slides. They are electric slides. So if you were to have a problem, you can still manually crank that in if you don't have a drill and get to where you're needing to go to have that serviced. This starter kit's also gonna come with the coach as well. And then this is for your outdoor shower here. Coming around here, we have the marine grade speakers with the AM FM Bluetooth radio. You're gonna have an exterior outlet here and another one in the rear. There's one of your cameras right there for that four camera system and then you'll have one on either side in the front and then one in the rear. We have the step above entry stairs here. It's an extra step and a half at the top. This is a, a, a not a standard feature, it's an option. If you were to do the standard feature, it's gonna be a roll stair and it has an extended grab bar here. They did not do the end slide room paint, so it is still gonna be painted one of those main colors of your coach. Dual pane frameless windows, all metal fender skirting, no plastic. Nice belt rail here is gonna cover all those screws so it's gonna be not uh, exposed to the elements. Access panel to the back of your fridge so if you need to service it or winterize it. And then on this model here with the 48 FB, we did the two patios, so got the rear and the side. So the side patio is automatically, when you do this option, it's gonna come with the stairs, the railing, the patio enclosure um, doors, just like you would have at home, and then the outdoor entertainment. And it's also gonna have speakers back here as well. You could option to do a third patio awning if you'd like, or it would be right above your dinette there if you want the whole side of this coach to have awnings. You're gonna have cross ventilation with the toy hauler, one on either side here. So if you do have those toys in there with those fumes, it'll help with that. LP quick disconnect here for a grill or fireplace. And then you have the spare tire carrier there at the rear. Like I said, when I was doing the interior, they did their, uh, the rear ramp railing package, which will come with this right here. Very easy to set up and secure. I believe we have a video on YouTube on that as well. And then the stairs here, which are very easy to take down and stow. And then the ramp door is 5,000 pounds when it's in the driving position, up, taking your toys up into the coach. But when it's in this patio position, it's 1,500 pounds. Very easy, again, to stow everything away and to easily lift that ramp door up. And then they have gone ahead and optioned to have the rear awning added on as well. And then they have the rear camera. This ladder here will come out and then you can go up on the roof. We have a full walk-on roof there. You're gonna have a fuel station here. It's a 20 gallon and a 40 gallon fuel station. Your 20 gallon is gonna run your gen. Your 40 is gonna fuel your toys. You can pump into the generator 20 gallon with the fuel pump here if you're running low. And they have option to do the power cord reel here, which is a 30 foot cord. And actually, while we're over here, we have 17 and a half inch H-rated tires. They are going to be nitro filled. 
They are 16 ply. We have all independent suspension. Dexter independent suspension is gonna be standard on the toy haulers, but you can upgrade to the Moorite independent suspension. They're all gonna come standard with a Kodiak hydraulic disc brakes. So these are some really heavy duty brakes on this system here. Just gonna come back around one more time here. See, if there's anything that I missed that we haven't showed you in another video. I appreciate you guys always staying in tune and taking a look at what we have to offer. Um, but again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give us a call. Talk to your rep about those different uh, things that we can personalize and tweak in the space within the floor plan. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call.